old informant that we had inside the Arellano cartel. And he calls Oscar and he says, hey, uh, you've heard of Julio Cesar Chavez? He goes, of course we have. He goes, they're going to kidnap him at his son's fight. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ron Strong, JC here, and we have a special guest, my friend, Sheepdog. <laughs> it used to be your dog, now it's Sheepdog. I think Sheepdog is better than your dog. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. It's, 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 instead of Cell of Tarsus, it's Pump. Yes. It's yes. Keith Dog. We're no? a little bit more we're a little bit more humble now. Instead of being Rottweilers, exactly. we're uh, exactly. Chihuahuas. <laughs> exactly. Well I don't know about that. Else to be. <laughs> what's up, brother? So what what you got going on? What's what's happening? I know you you're doing lots of things and, and uh what's what's going on? Well you know what uh this week, this Friday, we're gonna be premiering a video. Uh, through Rolling with the Punches TV on the, my YouTube channel there and also on uh, Sheepdog Assist on Police and Fire Publishing uh, YouTube channels. And it's basically a true story. This is the first time that we've actually talked about the day that we saved Julio Cesar Chavez Sr.'s life. Time. So now we're working in Mexico. Oscar gets a phone call from an old informant that we had inside the Arellano Cartel. And he calls Oscar and he says, hey, uh, you've heard of Julio Cesar Chavez? He goes, of course we have. He goes, they're going to kidnap him at his son's fight. So we thought when they said at his son's fight that it was Julio Cesar Chavez against Canelo, which was, this is like in February, two months in advance, mm -hmm. in, in on May 6th. So we're thinking, okay, and he goes, and they're going to pick him up at the hotel. So we're thinking that it's in Las Vegas, right? And we're thinking, well, that can't that can happen. So we hang up. And about, and uh, we were like, okay, but Julio Cesar, these these Arellanos are gonna go to Las Vegas and pick up Julio. That I mean, it's majority of the time they're not gonna go into the United States to commit those kind of crimes. Yeah, know. You know what I mean? I mean, they're gonna do it in Mexico. Yeah. So we wait about a day, and, and when Oscar's telling me, I'm thinking, ah, it's mentiroso, he mentiroso. That ain't gonna happen. They're not gonna come to Las Vegas and pick up Julio Cesar. So we didn't even think about it. The next day, that same informant calls Oscar. This time I'm in the car and he has him on speaker. And he goes, ¿Qué pasó, Doc? We'll just make him name. He calls him Doctor. He's not. And he goes, ¿Qué pasó, Doc? And he goes, Te dije que lo van a levantar. Y dijo el Oscar, ¿A poco lo van a levantar Las Vegas? No, no, no. They're gonna pick him up. I'm going to Spanish because I remember exactly the conversation. He goes, no, no, the fight is going to be in Rosarito. And he goes, it's not Julio Ch Ch Jr. that's fighting, it's his son, Omar. He's fighting against Canelo's son, Ramon, in Rosarito two weeks before the fight in Las Vegas, which was April 24th. Uh -huh. So now it makes sense, right? Yeah. So when he says that, uh, I go, okay, now it makes sense, but okay, thank you, bye, you know, respectful, and so yeah. forth, we hang up. So that makes a little more sense, but we can't act upon that. Because if we act upon that, uh, it's not enough evidence. Yeah. I mean, not, there's no corroborating evidence to tell us that it is going to happen. About a week later, five or six days later, Oscar gets another call. This time he gets a call from a, somebody, a source of information that we had 
en uh, the, uh, uh, Cartel Nueva Generación de Jalisco, in Tijuana. He gets the phone call and he gets a call and he says, van a levantar al señor Chavez. Lo van a levantar en la pelea de su hijo. Now it's a little more information. Y cuando lo levanten, when they live, when they take him, they're going to ask for $2 million. And when they pay the money, they're going to kill him, chop his head off, and they're going to send a hit to Mayo Zambana. Uh, they're not going to release him, but it's going to be a $2 million hit. And now he's telling us a little bit more. These two sources don't know each other. There's no way, I mean, they're enemies, mm -hmm. right? So now we have somebody else telling us that. So now we, we still, we're still like, okay, it might be true now. Okay, we need something else. About three days later, one of our sources in the Sinaloa cartel in Mexicali calls us. Hey, he goes, van a levantar al señor Chavez. So now we got three sources. So now with that information, now we basically start basically putting a plan of action to go after what is going to happen. I mean, we're going to basically prevent it from happening. We need to get a hold of Julio Cesar Chavez, mm -hmm. and we need to start working with the FBI, some Mexican counterparts, and we need to go in there. They need to arrest people, and they need to make sure that Chavez is safe. And with that said, uh, we basically started our investigation. Uh, we ended up, I'm not going to get into because we're going to talk about it in the video on Friday. It's going to be released this Friday. But we basically started working with Fernando Beltran, the CEO of Sanford Boxing. Mm -hmm. And from right there, we started working with the FBI. We started working with an a, a, a anti-kidnapping group out of Mexico City. And we brought it all together. And I'm not going to say the ending, but all I could say, brother, is that Julio Cesar Chavez is alive today. And it's by the grace of God that he's alive today. And that God used us to save this man's life. Amen. And uh, but uh, God was good. God's grace was was over Julio Cesar Chavez. And I hope and pray that today that he's grateful that it wasn't us. It wasn't us. It was the Lord that saved his life. Amen. Our video is going to be coming out on our channel this Friday at uh, um, 5 p.m. your time, Pacific Standard mm -hmm. Time. So if somebody wants to hear the ending, they could go on the show. But I'm telling you, brother, it's a it's a it's a one of a kind. We've never told the story. And um, and today I was interviewed. As a matter of fact, that's why I was a little late uh, with Univision. They did a full interview. But we told them I, I couldn't give the ending. <laughs> but it's a very exciting story because.